Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. So in today's video, we're going to speak about the broken, yes, the broken SMG meta and why I believe because of this new meta with the SMGs, the shotguns need a buff. But before we do any of that, if you are new here and you want to stay on the right track, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get my videos as soon as they're published. And if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like. But well, before you click away from the video, yes, I said the shotguns need a buff in Fortnite Battle Royale for season five. But before you turn away, if that's what you're thinking about doing, hear me out for a second because I think you may be on the same page as me in regards to this situation. Now, it is no secret that there's so many people currently playing Fortnite Battle Royale that are left frustrated constantly when they are sent back into the lobby by a SMG. They, they, they have received a nerf, yes, but I still think they're absolutely BS in my personal opinion. I don't like the meta. I personally hate the meta. Now you're talking about a player that came to uh, Fortnite in season two, just halfway through. Haven't got the Black Knight unfortunately because I didn't feel that I was going to invest this much time into the game and look at me now, Fortnite channel. So it says a lot about what I think about this game. But when I came into Fortnite Battle Royale, you're talking about a meta that was dominated by the common white pump and the uncommon green pump. These absolutely dominated lobbies. You could get a 200 plus headshot with these weapons and you could double pump them as well. And you know what? I loved it. Even though I initially got absolutely crucified by these two particular weapons, there was such an attraction to the skill that was there and this is coming from somebody that has played Call of Duty for nearly 10 years and throughout the series the skill gap got shrunk and the one thing that they took out the game that really really upset me and really ground my gears was the lack of headshots in the game. To come to Fortnite and get rewarded for your accuracy in terms of headshots was such a refreshing feeling and it made it really rewarding when you played the game. That's an honest opinion from somebody that was new to the game that didn't see exactly what Epic's trying to do right now because they're trying to hold the hands of new players. And I get it, it's a business at the end of the day. They want as many people playing this game as possible. But the majority of people play this game sheerly because of the concept of the building. And word of mouth is a powerful thing. I remember when I first was introduced to Call of Duty. It was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Everybody at my train station, which is where I work, I work in the railway industry, was talking about this game. And I felt so left out because I was the only person that didn't have this game. You know what I went and done? I brought a new TV for £400, a PlayStation 3 and Modern Warfare 2 just to play this game. <laughs> says it all doesn't it it's very powerful when you see that there's a community playing this game getting all this attention all this hype and you're not playing it so this smg meta i don't really understand personally couple that with the fact that they have actually nerfed wood as well 50 bullets in the mag is just overpowered beyond the word i can't believe that the tommy gun and the uh compact SMG are even a thing in this game. It is literally a spray and pray me mechanism, sorry. And it just ruins one of the best things about Fortnite Battle Royale, and that is the building. It's the way for you to escape, to outplay, to outmaneuver your enemy. When you're in a situation where you find yourself in a tight spot, it's about mental play. It's about thinking ahead and trying to predict movement. There's so many things about the building is in this game that makes it what it is. So when you introduce a weapon that can almost nullify that and decrease the amount of wood that you you get from floor spawns and chest spawns and stuff like that, you start attacking the very thing that you created such 
a successful giant out of in the first place. Now, Epic Games did receive the backlash from the community and they did make adjustments very, very quickly. It was very clear that the compact SMG was just broken to pieces, but I still feel like you can't win against these weapons, especially when you're using what used to be the king of close combat in this game, shotguns. Here's where the problem lies in terms of the SMGs and the shotguns and why I believe they need a buff. Now the SMGs were introduced into the game after the shotguns had basically been not nerfed into the ground but nerfed quite dramatically. Double pump used to be a thing, there was a whole rework of each shotgun grouping uh, turning the heavy shotgun into the most powerful one in the game. I pretty much think the pump shotgun is quite useless in the game now because of the slow animation. You had a animation penalty for the higher power weapons, the hand cannon, the sniper rifles. A lot of these changes absolutely peed off the community back then, but they are still incorporated into the game now. And they were incorporated to stop people double pumping and switching to weapons of quick succession that dealt such high damage. So why are these still in the game now? The SMGs are there and that's why the SMGs currently outclass the shotguns in terms of viability up close and personal. You take out a pump shotgun right now and watch the animation and just watch how long it takes couple that with the fact that the pump shotgun just doesn't deal that much damage anymore it's it's a no-brainer in my opinion that it needs a buff now would i take it back to the one shot headshot for 200 plus damage me personally i really enjoyed that and i i, I loved the fact that you were rewarded for the fact that if you was accurate and you could find that headshot you are gone no matter a shot to the face equals a death i understand a lot of people would probably disagree with this but i don't think it would be that overpowered if this was available but you could only re-chamber the one shotgun as you can now you can't double pump anymore that's why the headshot the one shot headshot was so powerful and probably so frustrating to a lot of players in the game however i do understand that this is a problem for a lot of people but in my opinion epic games definitely need to consider taking away the animation delay for the heavy shotgun the pump shotgun because these penalties now are just not viable in terms of people being able to switch out a smg straight away people are starting to run double compacts now the headshot thing mm, I know not everyone will agree with the one shot to the face with 200 health, which is kind of <laughs> is kind of uh, out of order, really. Why not take the pumps back to the original stats that they had, the 90 and the 95, with the two times multiplier for the headshot? Or if you are going to introduce the pump with one shot again, why not make it one pump and make that pump? a legendary weapon make sure it's just really rare on the map and then go from there but for me i just believe that the 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 shotguns need a rework once again make them all ever so slightly powerful with the tactical shotgun make it the same but just make it shoot slightly faster i believe this is something daquana suggested as well to epic games and um, it's clear that a lot of people want the shotguns to be as fun as they used to be because for me they're pretty much a signature for fortnite as much as building is a signature for fortnite the pump is an iconic weapon and currently it's just been done a massive injustice by epic games so let me know down in the comment section what would you do to fix the shotguns do you like the smg meta do you hate it like me do you wish shotguns were back me season three was probably ideal in terms of the viability of shotguns couple the smgs with that and then you've got in my eyes a meta where everybody can choose what they want to run and go from there guys let me know down in the comment section what you think about this feel free to put your suggestions down there also and guys there are many buttons you could hit but a like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace